Welcome to a quick edition of LiveView Mastery. In this episode, we're going to be adding images to a Phoenix application. I'm gonna make this quick video because I always have to Google this when I need to add images into an application because you typically do it like either at the beginning of the project or just very few iterations at a time. And so this video is gonna chronicle how it's done because it's not necessarily obvious. So the reason why that's why it's not obvious on how to add images to a Phoenix application is because there is an assets folder and you would expect that you would go and create an images folder inside of the assets folder and that is actually not how it's done. So we're sitting with our puppy application now and we're going to be adding a puppy logo to our application. So what I want to do is add the following. So we're going to add a logo right up here, right above puppies inside of our puppy application. So at the, at the top here, we're going to add this, which is you're going to add an image tag, uh, which is a dynamic tag. And the first argument is going to be the path to the image. Now, this is where it gets interesting a little bit, where you're going to do routes.static path at socket. And then you're going to point to this address, which is slash images puppy logo dot web p. So you're going to actually put this logo not in your assets folder. You're going to put that in your priv static folder. So priv static, and there's already an images folder there. So we're going to grab a puppy logo from my desktop. I'm going to throw it in priv static. So it's a puppy logo dot web p. We're going to style it a little bit, give it a max height of 16 REMs and give it a title of puppy logo. So I'm going to save that. And as you can see, this is a logo for the puppies that is in the app and the reason why this is interesting is because uh, I've had to struggle with this in the past and so I'm just making this video to make it so that you can quickly and easily get this done in your application so the second thing you're gonna want to do is sometimes is you're gonna want to refer to an image in the CSS so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a puppy logo next to every puppy name and just show the the an image of a puppy so what we're going to do there is we're going to jump down to where we're rendering the puppy's name and we're going to add a div with the puppy logo. Now the problem is that the puppy logo that we're refer or not the puppy logo, but uh, the puppy image that we're adding doesn't exist quite yet. Uh, or rather we we're using a CSS class with puppy logo. So I'm going to show you how to add that and make a reference to an image inside of your priv static folder. So we're going to open up our app.scss and we're going to add the following CSS class with puppy logo. And the background image is going to make a relative link to slash images slash little puppy. Now the way this works is because the route static path, what it does is it makes your images available at the route that you specify inside of the priv static. So if it's slash images, it's the structure of how you're representing that in your file structure is it it defaults to priv static and you can make a reference to like the fav icon directly so you just do slash fav icon dot I, I co but if you're making reference to an image it's going to be relative to the fact that it's in that static folder so when we refer to the puppy logo dot webp it's going to be slash images slash puppy logo which is what we did here and so we're going to do the same thing in the CSS, which is going to be slash images slash little puppy dot JPEG. So let's throw this little puppy dot JPEG inside of the static assets folder or static images folder. We refresh and let's see, we get the automatic live reload from Phoenix and we are up and running. This is how you add images to both the CSS and to the image tag uh, helper that comes with Phoenix. And that's it. That's the quick episode.